This year, Poland and Korea celebrate 30 years of official diplomatic relations, and the two have established a thriving relationship based on a shared history of independence movements. Piotr Ostaszewski, the Polish ambassador to Korea, was kind enough to sit down with us and talk about the relationship between the two countries. Welcome to the show, Ambassador. Good day, sir, and a good day to all the audience. <laughs> so, can you tell us... Uh, about the diplomatic relations between South Korea and Poland and how it first began. As we said, it's 30 years now, which is perhaps not that long when you compare to some uh, some international uh, diplomatic relations. But both Poland and South Korea have had difficult political circumstances, to say the least, uh, over the last uh, 100 years or so. Well, it's something like, you know, we, we show a difficult history, mm. or let's say a difficult past, uh, that, as you know, being uh, just as a bridge of a passage between two big countries, it's not a very comfortable position, I should rather say. Mm. But on the other hand, our relations, since you have mentioned that, are uh, 30 years. I mean, 30 years is a pretty long time, I think. Cause I was younger, for 30 years, when we set up relations. I remember the day the 1st of November 1989. Indeed, everything started with... Uh, with the uh, Republic of Korea and the Republic of Poland, uh, the diplomatic relations, 87, 88, indeed, when uh, Korea prepared itself for Olympic Games in Seoul. On the other hand, the system in Poland was crumbling. Uh, I would like just to mention that communism was not our system. It was mm. imposed by the Soviet Union. So before the Second World War, we had ordinary system like in all the European countries, democracies. On the other hand, that was so, <coughs> the question of the uh, Olympic Games, indeed. That it was so easy. It coincided with a crumbling system in Poland. For the first time, we had talks, uh, I should rather say, secret talks in, Gen in Geneva, in uh, Switzerland, and indeed with uh, a Korean ambassador. That was a, some sort of a contact point. Uh, that was a public demand in my country. When you, when, when talking about a uh, transition, the period of transition is indeed uh, it should be included. Just setting up relations with important countries, because obviously it is something like uh, we didn't have relations with Republic of Korea. That was why, because it was an, against our national interest. That was a semi-sovereignty. Since you mentioned the sovereign uh, sovereignty mm. of a movement of independence, it was a semi-sovereignty, but it was a Brezhnev doctrine. So you have some sovereignty, but to some extent when we allow you to make other decisions of your own. But then finally, the final stage, what happened indeed after the whole preparations, is that in 1988 our team, more than 300 people, participated in the Olympic Games in Seoul. And then finally, that was the next stage prepared uh, by our Ministry of Ministers of Foreign Affairs. And finally, the 1st of November 1989, we opened a new stage of our relations. But it was not that Korea was not well known in my country. It was well known, mm -hmm, of course. And then, but then, f f for Poland, from that period onwards, it was a, a kind of a restart, a, a, a reset for your country, really, wasn't it? Uh, and th from there, that relationship with Korea also grew uh, as well. Yes, because. Always, you you, it, you start to you have to classify some stages of that. I would imagine the first stage is just a mainly focus on diplomatic relations. Signing, of course, agreements is very important, like uh, uh, tax agreements, uh, foreign investment. Of course, Poland was in the communist bloc, but we were much more. Uh, free market economy oriented so therefore when you open a gate for foreign investment you have to have a legal foundation so that and vice versa the next stage was uh, investment for the first time in my country was Dewu a big chabol very popular in the 90s of especially course. 1995 it got into Polish market as the first uh, big uh, Korean chabol and that was close to Warsaw and Pruszkov and they just uh, later that was a car production way bought out our car factory and uh, many make Korean cars like um, Dewu, Espero, Lanos, Tico, the others were produced. Later, after that failure of Dewu, this is just you remember that, it's indeed what happened with this Jebel, you had a next stage with e economic relations, LG investment, like in Moava, it's close to also 100 kilometers north from also then Wrocław and Kobiozice, when you have it just right now, one of the biggest factories and a battery factory. LG Cam invested uh, this year, probably that would be one of the biggest investment ever LG made in the Central Europe. And on the other hand, we had a Samsung, of course, a very important Chabol. Actually, people in Poland are quite recognizes all the people quite recognize Korean uh, Korean goods and that next stage is indeed once once you have it you have a supplying company so altogether 
We can just count about 200 Korean companies in Poland offering more than 60,000 jobs. 95% of all the production goes into Western European market, I mean the European Union, because 2011 FTA, which was signed between European Union, so we are part of European Union, which we are very proud of that. So in two days' time, we celebrate our 15th anniversary of a membership in European Union. So that helped us, of course, enormously to open the gate for Korean investors. 2013, Next stage, I uh, first of all, it's about partnership, strategic partnership between Poland and Korea, which are very, we are very proud. I'm very proud as being a diplomat here to celebrate, uh, to celebrate, to participate in in this event. Two action plans, uh, uh, 2014-16, then the second stage, a second action plan, 17-20-20, then probably. If I'm lucky enough, I would support my government to hammer out a new action plan with Korean side for the next stage, of course, within our partnership, strategic partnership. So we are very, very proud and very glad to have these relations here with Korea. Can you tell us more about this action plan? I mean, what, you know, what is the... What stages are you looking to, you know, develop? Well, it's just, when you have... It, it develops... It, it includes several, I should say, like book chapters of that, but you have to uh, develop diplomatic relations on the level of that, like our presidential visits to coordinate or prime ministerial visits and that. Then you have just an ex- the next the next I don't want to get into details because it would be it's just not a the studio is not a place <laughs> of that but we get into details to can the story of that but when you have how to develop economic relations isn't from a ministerial level because it's always when you have just something like a diplomatic umbrella of that but then to to uh, participate as a diplomat but on the other hand to facilitate a Korean investors and Polish investors here. Uh, the question with because always you have problems as well because are indissolubly connected with life like for instance protectionist barriers in the Korean market so how we can try to hammer out some solutions uh, um, to uh, make it a little bit softer for our investors here so this is that we have of course a cultural events as well so Korea as I said both countries become closer to one another. So we have a tourist exchange. We have uh, our, on our market some some uh, commodities, some goods are recognizable. But there's another question of that is what kind of new goods could be just imported from Poland or what we can offer and what we can expect just a Korean new investors in new areas. And especially this is something like uh, uh, energy nuclear energy, for instance, but it's just uh, we're still waiting for a final uh, governmental decision to open up the new stage of a nuclear energy, because, uh, as you know, our economy is based uh, mainly on uh, economy. Uh, electricity is based on coal, mm. so energy is based on coal. So on the other hand, is to, to, to diversify, it takes some time to divide into several stages as well. So we are expecting 2020 to hammer out and to make a deeper you know, action plan. Action plan is something I should love to say, a tactics for strategy, how to how to realize the strategy. Mm. So you've talked a lot about uh, the uh, kind of trade uh, relationship that South Korea and Poland had. Obviously, you know, a lot of international relations is about, uh, you know, trade and about uh, the economy. Yeah, but the politics is based on it today. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> right. But uh, there's also, I feel like there's an um, increasing kind of uh, exchange between cultural uh, and either tourism and other factors as well. I mean, would you agree? I mean, there's uh, increasing perhaps Korean uh, tourism uh, to Poland as well. Of course. Why? Mm. Because, uh, first of all, we have five flight direct flights uh, connections uh, between Warsaw and Seoul, expecting seven. I would always remind it, expecting seven because all the planes are fully booked up. So this is something, this is the reason. Please give us another two flights, additional flights, and we will be the happiest probably in the world for the time being, of course, because you cannot be happy all your life. You can make your happiness just to grow, the rise of your happiness. So but, but the question, since you've mentioned about the culture, um, exchange of that. Uh, how does it? How does it look like? Uh, we have about a just let's say Korean tourists in Poland, tourists uh, from Poland to Korea. We have a Polish people living in Korea, about uh, four hundred people, uh, but we have about uh, two thousand Koreans living in Poland. But because of uh, many of them, because of investors. On the other hand, once you have investment, as we, we mentioned, the politics is politics, but everything is based on the economy. So once you have, for instance, Samsung Center. I live near Samsung Center in Warsaw, and nearby you have a Korean restaurant. Sora, 
And uh, so <laughs> you you know that it's 12 o'clock because you see lots of Koreans go to Sora <laughs> to have lunch, including myself. Although I'm not Korean, but I like Korean lunch very much. So mm. therefore, I meet many people there. Uh, on the other hand, Korea is a very good example even for us. Recently, I have been to Cambodia, and every supermarket, they have a Korean shelf of that. Korean shelf, what does it mean? Kimchi, uh, soju, some Korean uh, good food, and cosmetics. This means this is always promotion. And you can have a promotion of your country, not only because of high tag, but you can have a promotion because it could be even a mineral water. Why mm. not? If it is a good quality, very high quality, people expect a high quality. Why not? It makes it more and more popular. So the exchange, of course, even the tourist exchange, it doesn't mean that you have to always see the same places. Because when you start a sightseeing, it is just on your finger, standard places. But there are just so many things that could be offered, like Poland and Korea. Many minor places to offer for the people who would like to spend, for instance, on the agriculture uh, environment, to uh, horse riding and the, uh, and the other things like that. So we can be very attractive as well. So we are thinking about that, but it will be probably in June some first, tourist first here. So I, I hope that we can have, we can have some uh, very good offers for our Korean tourists. Mm. Uh, talking of culture, I understand there's recently a uh, a jazz uh, concert that uh, You're uh, right. took, took place. Let me, let me mention one thing about jazz. Jazz was in Poland very popular since the since the fifties. Mm. It's not the something that it it blew up right now just so like to have a show off because of jazz it was invented. No, it is not any innovation. It's a very high quality jazz. Respected in, our musicians are respected in the USA. Let me mention I don't know if you heard about the Christopher Comeda. Probably not. But if you have ever seen the film Rosemary's Baby this was his music. Mm. Rosemary's Baby is a very, very uh, commemorable tune. And this is uh, one of the best. Kometa was one of the best, really. So it's uh, right now when we have a jazz festival and we have a Polish, glu- Polish group, uh, that would be something that I would deliver even a speech, a short speech, but on the other hand, being involved in jazz, I understand this music and I can recommend. It's a, one of the highest quality ever, really. It's not... It's innovative. It's always progressive, and it's something like an I could I could uh, just call it as real art, mm. and I like real art. Mm. But it'll be pop art, mm. like uh, Andy Warhol, who made a just a pop culture, and uh, this is pop culture mixed with a higher higher level of art, mm. undoubtedly. But we are, what we for celebration our our uh, 30th anniversary, we have a brochure about the history of our bilateral rela- relations. I deliver some lectures at some universities, so because as, as I mentioned to you before, I was here 10 times before lecturing at universities. And that would be a uh, Global Film Week, when it starts the 7th of May. So uh, Korean cinematography is very well known in, in, in my country as well. And not because I, I read some newspapers. And I'm sorry, no, no, it's a question of that. So we would like to make it even well known, our cinematography of the 60s and 70s, although that was a communist time. But one thing, communism in Poland was a pretty mild version since 1971. And we had an opportunity to travel all around the world. Hmm. The only communist country. And uh, partially my family lived in Italy, so I partially lived in Italy as well in the 80s. So that was something like we were much more open. So that's something definitely to look forward to. Uh, We've talked a lot of uh, things from politics to trade to to, to jazz. But just to wrap up, what what do you see the future for South Korea, uh, Polish relations? How do you want it to develop? Uh, This is something like from economic standpoint, there are several areas that I would like to mention. The first area is a nuclear energy, green energy, smart cars, smart cities. Uh, look, I was a vice rector of the Warsaw School of Economics and we have many professors interested in smart cities. So I'd like to especially just to uh, be focused on that. For diplomacy is uh, closer cooperation of uh, parliamentary groups as well, which is which is required, of course, when the deepened relations is required just to, uh, to be, better, be better well known. Uh, local levels, authorities of that. But I expect, of course, that many Polish towns can sign agreements with Korean towns. Not necessarily, but we always focus on Seoul. Seoul's 25 million. Of course, Seoul signed an agreement with Warsaw, with the capital of Poland. But expecting uh, just local authorities as well. And the culture, to make it more, more known. Film, we missed one thing and I here attended when I lived in Daegu I attended theater 
Mm. We don't mention theater. Why? Because theater became, in America, theater means cinema. But theater <laughs> is not cinema, I can guarantee you. It's completely different. It's performance on the stage. So once you perform on a stage, you see better actors to be prepared for the staring. And uh, painting exhibitions as well. Cuisine is a very important thing because kimchi is very well known globally right now. It's not, people erroneously miss kimchi just only with a cabbage. It's not only cabbage. Of course. Uh, so, and mm. There are many, many variety of, of mm. agricultural products which can be just pickled. Computer games is another. We have uh, one of the best computer games, which is Vietjmin, which is very well known in the USA as well. So I think uh, these are just, uh, I mentioned just several points of the closer cooperation. I will wholeheartedly work for it because I, I think it's, uh, it's our future. Very many areas of cooperation that we can expand on. Well, it's been very interesting to speak to you, Ambassador. Thank you for shedding some, light, some more light on the Korean-Polish relationship. And we hope to speak to you again. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Good day.